the murder of Tylene Ryan and JJ Vallo. Tylene Ashley Ryan was born September 24, 2002, and Joshua Jackson JJ Vallo was born the 25th of May, 2012. Both Ashley and JJ disappeared in 2019. Tylene was last seen alive at Yellowstone National Park on September 8, 2019. Her younger adopted brother JJ was last seen alive on September 22, 2019 at Rexbury Kennedy Elementary School. In November 2019, police questioned the children's mother, Lori Valadebel, about the children's whereabouts and welfare. Lori and her new fifth husband, Chad Guy Daybell, claimed that JJ was staying with family friends Melody Gibb in Arizona, where they had lived before moving to Idaho in early September 2019, which Gibb later denied. Police effort to locate JJ led to the discovery that Tylene was also missing. Complicating circumstances around the disappearance was a string of suspicious deaths. Lori estranged Ford husband Charles Vallo was shot and killed in July 2019 by Lori's brother Alexander Cox who claimed self-defense. Cox died of a blood clot on December 12, 2019. In early October 2019, Brandon Boudreau, the then estranged husband of Lori's niece, Melanie, was shot at in the driveway of a Gilbert, Arizona home from a vehicle still registered to the deceased Charles Vallo. In October 2019, Chad's wife, Tammy Daybell, was attacked in her driveway by what she believed was someone shooting a defective paintball gun. A few weeks later, on October 19, she died in her sleep from what was initially recorded as a natural causes. No or autopsy was initially performed. After Chad and Lori married two weeks after Tammy's death, law enforcement became suspicious and exhumed Tammy's corpse for autopsy. It was determined that she had been asphyxiated by someone else. On February 20th, 2020, Lori was arrested in Kauai, Hawaii and charged with with desertion and non-support of her dependent children. She was extradited to Idaho and transported there by official on March 5, 2020. On June 9, 2020, police executed a search warrant at Chad's home and discovered the remains of JJ and Tylene. Chad was arrested later that day on charges of destruction or concealment of evidence. On May 25, 2021, Lori and Chad were charged with the first degree murders of Tylene, JJ, AJ and Chad late wife Tammy. Initially, when police investigated the disappearance of JJ, they talked to Melanie Gibbs, Lori friend. She denied seeing JJ for over seven months and that she told police that Chad asked her to lie if she was ever asked about JJ whereabouts. After months, the FBI got involved with the Vala kid's disappearance. They collected eyewitness statements and an amount of evidence against Lori and Chad. The grandparents of both children pleaded with Lori and Chad to return the children, with the latter offering a reward of $20,000. Investigators contended that Joshua and Tylene live lives are in danger. The children are not with Chad and Lori. Lori knows where they are or what has happened to them, but she was completely refused to assist this investigation. She chose instead to leave the state with her new husband, Chad. Authorities soon turned Turned their attention to a Rexbury storage locker rented by Lori in October 2019. Inside, they discover items belonging to or associated with Tylene and JJ, such as clothing, bikes, and photographs, all of which had been abandoned when Lori suddenly left Rexbury at the end of November 2019. The video footage show her and her brother Alex Cox moving items in and out of the locker prior to her departure. Lori and Chad Daybell lawyer issued a statement stating that Chad Daybell was a loving husband and he has the support of his children in this matter. Lori Daybell is a devoted mother and she resents assertion to the contrary. We look forward to addressing the allegation once they have moved beyond speculation and rumors, the lawyer stated. When Lori was first arrested, she was also charged with three misdemeanor, resisting and obstructing officers, criminal solicitation to commit a crime, and contempt of court. Lori was held on $5 million bail, which was later reduced to $1 million. Lori appeared in court hearing in Rexbury to request a reduction of 
of her $1 million bail. The judge denied her request. At least two local bond companies were reportedly unwilling to work with her. So what caused Lori to be charged with the death of her two children? It is alleged that Chad and Lori believed that the children were possessed. Chad and Lori, who embraces end-of-time prophecies, used their religious belief to rationalize the killings. Chad Daybell authors books about doomsday scenarios. Was Lori and Chad a part of a cult? One will never know, but we do know that they both share certain ideology about the end of times and evil and zombies. And that two beautiful young soul was murdered allegedly because of their beliefs and their fanatic. We also might never know JJ and Tylene's last moments and the fear that they had that their own flesh and blood, their parents, their protectors took their lives. Lori and Chad Day Bell have trial is still ongoing and they have not been sentenced yet. Our hope is that they be brought to justice and serve the longest time possible for the murders of their children, stepchildren, wife, and husband. These two monsters should never be set free again in society. May Tylene and JJ rest in peace. Until next time on the Meaningful Talk Crime Doc. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll catch up with you later in the comment section.